Surprise! It's me again at my own YouTube channel. Who would have thought? I'm Pig of Mustache. Well, not really. That's just the name of my YouTube channel. My real name is something far more embarrassing than that. Folks, today I got a real doozy for you. I picked the top 7 European leagues and I made it so both their summer transfer window and the winter transfer window are only 24 hours long. And then see how the teams react when all the transfers they can sign are on deadline day. Historically, there's always a couple of really funny panic buys and that's what I expect to see today. The first transfer window goes pretty quiet. Those are all the transfers in Bundesliga and in the Premier League, the house of money where literally anything that moves, and sometimes not even that, costs millions of pounds. There are only 16 signings, which at this point is not really that unusual. The beginning of saves, squads are often complete, and they don't try many new signings. How does it compare to normal season? Yeah, there are a few more transfers, but nothing too ridiculous. You might wonder, if we wait until the next transfer window, that might give the AI enough time to do all the transfers they need to do beforehand. Nope. Obviously not. The AI in Football Manager is very stupid. It always leaves everything for the last minute. Hey, the sock told me, weren't we supposed to be doing something right now? Maybe? I'm sure it was not important. Happy New Year! Wait! The transfer window. Wait a minute. This doesn't make any sense. Ryder, come up here. How do you mean it doesn't make sense? We are Manchester City directors, and yet the sound is from the Big Ben in London. Yeah, I'm sick of those known Brits who think London is all of England. I can explain. It will all make sense in a few seconds. Yeah, right. Bug off. What, what an, an idiot, idiot right? <laughs> Earlier today, at the New Year's, the Big Ben Tower created legs and ran all the way to Manchester, leaving behind a trail of death and destruction. Calculations estimate that over 100,000 people were killed by the rampaging tower. The building is now standing on top of the Etihad Stadium. That's bad news for fans of Manchester City, since the team will not be able to sign any players in the transfer window that starts and ends today. That's great, now my Arsenal can finally win the league! Yeah right, keep dreaming. I noticed that with the small amount of transfers happening, this experiment is almost like a transfer embargo on all of the teams. So I thought we could go a few years into the future and see what happens there. In the Premier League, Liverpool won the league by a really close margin, with pretty much the same squad as they have nowadays. The same goes for the closest competitors Manchester City and Arsenal. Also, fun fact, the Glazers were so bad for Manchester United that the team entered into administration. I had never seen this happen in the Premier League before. had a surprisingly close end as well. The highlight is that PSG, instead of doing the usual of signing almost every player they can, they would really shine all of those years, and as a result, their squad is really small. Bundesliga as usual, saw Bayer win, the impossible has happened! Without the time to get players from the other teams, Bayern's squad stayed the same, which allowed the other clubs to catch up. And in the end, RB Leipzig won the league, which is not really a happy ending for Germany. In Italy, the biggest story is obviously Bologna. The seventh place in the league is actually very disappointing for them, since for the entire season they stayed around at the top three. And yes, most of their squad do play for them in real life. We might want to pay attention to those players five years from now. When making this video, I almost forgot to talk about the Dutch league, because as there is a saying in journalism, I do not know who said it, so I assume it was Albert Einstein, it is the safest choice. When a dog bites a man, that is not news, because it happens so often, but when a man bites a dog, 
that is incredibly awesome. And just like a dog biting a man, Ajax is winning the league. The man biting dog news though is how old their squad is. In five seasons they haven't developed a single player for the first team. Maybe because their best players are still there. It's Portugal time! And the biggest surprise comes from here with Braga winning the league. They've actually been pretty strong in the save, but their strategy was quite different from Bologna's or anyone else's we've seen before. They actually decided to buy players. Who could have fought? An incredible contrast to their biggest rivals Benfica and Porto, who stagnated. And finally, Spain, where just like Portugal, signing lots of players proved to be a lot more efficient than keeping all of them. For the Champions League, I looked hard to see if there was anything interesting happening in all of those five seasons, but nothing happened. Since most of the teams have similar squads than what they do nowadays, it makes sense that there would be no surprises. The biggest thing is that only English teams won the Champions League, including an all-English semi-final. Before ending this video, I remember I said something about the funny transfers that could happen. Historically, there's always a couple of really funny bank buys, and that's what I expect to see today. And I realize I haven't talked about it at all. Well, it is the same AI as in a normal save, so it tries the same kind of transfers as in a normal save, whether they are dumb or smart. But some of those transfers do feel like your usual wacky panic buying a deadline day kind of transfer. Tottenham, in good fashion, paid 51 million pounds for Asensio, with a season best of 6 goals, I can say it went as expected. In the save, Fulham got relegated, but as we know, Mitrovic is way too good to stay in the championship for long, so Brentford signed him for almost 40 million pounds. A little pricey maybe, but reasonable, right? All of it for 7 goals in 2.5 seasons. After that, he did improve a little. Not as expensive as the other ones, but Lyon made one of their most expensive transfers ever on Bonzer. And he had good numbers in Belgium before, so it could work. But 5 goals in 2 seasons while also being at best a rotation player say it didn't. But worse than that was Bayern. I did say before that their squad stayed the same, but in fact they did make a couple of signings. They spent a combined 85 million pounds for Ta and Kone to be bench players. Even Maguire at least got to play many matches. Hi, welcome to the end of the video. Hi, please check more of my videos, by now I already made a few of them, and while I believe my latest video to be my best, which means the other ones are not so good. I do believe they are good videos on their own. Alright, bye!